Hey folks, it's Stu from Evolution Unleashed. Today, we're going to talk about the biggest mistake that most entrepreneurs and business owners are making when it comes to marketing. And that mistake is not understanding your target market at a deep level. Therefore, your offer, your unique value proposition, it's not aligned to your target market. So you end up with very generic messaging. You're throwing a whole lot of stuff at the wall, hoping it'll stick. And what do you know? It usually doesn't, and it makes marketing feel so hit and miss, and it can be very discouraging. So what I've got for you today is going to change that and show you how AI can solve that problem once and for all so that you can harness the power of attraction marketing, which means they come to you through your content, simply by deeply understanding your target market and then creating aligned content that speaks specifically to that market in order to move them forward, whatever that looks like. Buy your course, sign up for your newsletter, take your offer, become a client, whatever it is. So let's dive in and look at how we achieve that. All great in theory, but how do we do it? Let's go prompting. The first thing I wanna show you is a prompt that we're gonna be using today. This is part of our ultimate prompt toolkit, which has a bunch of business marketing and personal development prompts that are gonna show you the real power of these AI models to actually move you forward and create real world impact. I'll drop that in the description or comments below so that you can get your hands on it. So in this prompt, developing a persona, it's one that you would use all the time in your marketing to align your offer, your UVP and other marketing material directly to your target market to achieve resonance, which means they like it. They're like, oh, that Sounds like they understand me, I want to know more, and they they start diving into what you've got to offer. So we want to understand how to resonate with them at an emotional and an aspirational level, because that's where decisions are made, not in logic. And uh, we want to really communicate their value. So we've got a prompt here, and it's got two placeholders. And what you do, and this is free for you, you can grab this prompt just by literally copying the whole thing. Then we're going to come over to chat GPT, or you can use Gemini. It works just as well in Gemini. I haven't tried it in Claude 3 yet. That's one of my projects for today. But generally, any advanced AI model up there with GPT-4 will be able to do this. You're not exclusively having to use GPT. It's just where I think today anyway that the models are delivering the best value. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. You make your choice. So here's the prompt, and I've added a couple of things here, okay? So I've filled in my two placeholders. You remember that we have the highlighted placeholders here. Describe your high-level target market. So who are you selling to at a high level? You don't need all the details. And then just explain your offer solution and how it helps them, okay? So what I did is I did it for our course, Advanced Prompt Mastery, which is a prompt engineering course designed to help you do what I'm going to show you in a moment. So my high-level market is AI enthusiasts who are fascinated by AI and want to learn how to leverage the technology to move themselves forward in business, personal, career areas. I want to cover the whole market. And I help them by showing what's possible with AI through a heavily value-led community, which leads them to our paid programs in such areas as business development, marketing, and in this case, prompt engineering, uh, using a breakthrough method that aligns outputs to who we are. It's very powerful stuff. Yeah, I'll just put that in there. The intent... The purpose of these personas to help me gain a deeper understanding of my target market, the core pain points, the emotional drivers. Look, you can read this prompt, folks. I just want to show you the outputs, okay? Um, this is a token mod mod token modifier, <laughs> a modifier that's going to help you get more expensive output. In the prompt toolkit that I just referred to, and we'll give you the links, there's a whole section on how to use modifiers to power up your uh, responses. It makes an incredible difference. So they... Uh, GPT, ChatGPT went ahead and gave me three personas, the emerging entrepreneur, and look at this. It gives you a name, the age, the hobbies and interests, the, an occupation, the challenges and pain points, their emotional drivers. Alex is driven by a desire to be at the forefront of technology using AI to innovate and stay ahead of competitors. Well, that sounds like me too. That's exactly how I use AI, and I recommend it's how you use AI. This stuff is powerful, folks. Values and beliefs relevant to your offer, value led growth, believe in sustainable value driven growth, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. That gave me a career advancer, 
And it gave me the lifelong learner, which is the personal development side. So I can cover, or I have a persona for each of those core demographics within my overall target market. And then all you have to do is pick one. But before I do that, I'm going to show you what happens when you don't do this stuff. And it's going to look okay until you see what's actually possible with a bit of prompt engineering. So let's go back to a different chat GPT. And this is what most uh, one line, two line prompts that you get in those rubbish prompt packs, 10,000 prompts, 20,000 prompts. Folks, they lack context. They're going to give you what looks like a good answer. But from when, when you are in marketing, you're going to realize this is very high level fluffy and doesn't actually do really enough. It's still going to be better than not doing it. But make a post that will help me sell my prompt engineering course to my audience of entrepreneurs, please. Okay, so here's a draft. And it's very generic and high level. Unlock the power of AI. How often do you hear that? For your business with our premier prompt engineering course, attention entrepreneurs in the fast evolving world of artificial intelligence. Why prompt engineering? Look, I'm going to uh, put these in a document and I'm going to link these down below as well. So you can actually compare the outputs yourself. You don't have to take my word for it. But uh, this is very high level. It equips you with the expertise to harness AI's full potential, turning it into a powerful ally for innovation, efficiency, and growth. No outcomes here. It's not outcome focused. It's not really telling me in a tangible way how it's going to move me forward. Um, and then it's blah, blah, blah. It's telling you all about what the course is, but it's not aligning it to you or giving you the outcomes. Who's the course for? Why choose our course? Okay, it's not terrible, but... I want to show you what happens when you add a little bit of prompt engineering and we take this target market, we're going to use Alex, okay? And we're going to use that in a placeholder and we'll just copy all of that. And then I've developed a prompt. Now I'm happy to give you this prompt. You can take this. I'll put it in the document that I'm going to have all this for you. More value is better, right? So uh, you can, again, get this prompt and try it for yourselves as well, because that's not in the prompt guide. I actually wrote this just for the video today. And that's the power of prompt engineering. You can just sit down and whip out a prompt like this in literally five minutes when you understand prompt structure and you understand how to align to, you know, the outputs you're looking for. So today I need you to assume the role. So we'll give it a role. This is our five point prompt structure, expert in marketing, specializing in the powerful attraction marketing methods. Yeah, you can put whatever you like there, but give it a role. Context. We're going to provide two pieces of information in the context, my target market. So we just paste in, here's a target market persona to use to align the post toward, ensuring it speaks to all people in this market. Otherwise, it'll just say, it'll speak just to Alex. We don't want to just speak to Alex. We want to speak to people like Alex, uh, which is, you know, a representation of your market. So we paste that in. Okay. That was everything that we got from our previous output. That's why that target market prompt is the cornerstone of good marketing. It is probably the most go-to prompt I use in marketing. And I hope that uh, you'll see that after today. So my objective is to create a compelling post built on the principles of attraction marketing. So we're giving it a lot more guidance now that aligns the course, advanced prompt mastery with my target market. We want that alignment in a way that is persuasive and evokes a deep desire because that's attraction marketing. Please note the following guidelines. Use simple but powerful language in a straightforward and conversational style. So we're telling it how to talk to the market. Um, be heavily outcome focused so the re uh, so the, to the reader to ensure maximum relatability. Good thing about ChatGPT and these models, they pick up your spelling errors. They know what you mean. Uh, use the power of attraction marketing and strong persuasive storytelling techniques to ensure this post is interesting and engaging for our target market. And then... We have a little token override, which I talked about. That's a modifier. And there's a bunch of those in our prompt guide. And look what it comes up with. So still, I'd, look, one thing I'll tell you that AI is not good at is naming things. Uh, if you try and name a course or name a guide, it's pretty poor. It'll always use the words unlock, unleash. Can't get away from that, but you can amend this. But, uh, you know, so this still won't be perfect. The human filter, you've got to do a bit of your own editing. You can't just use raw output straight to market. You want to go through and tweak it, okay? Very important. Uh, so imagine this. Your startup isn't just surviving, it's thriving. Another word I hate with AI. It's a name on everyone's lips, not because you're doing what everyone else does, but because you've leapfrogged into the future of business with AI. 
leapfrogged into the future. Now, if we go back and have a look at what he wants, he wants to understand how to effectively integrate AI into their business operations to get a competitive edge, okay? But he's limited by finances to invest in learning and applying it. So he doesn't have a lot of money, but he understands that he wants to do that. His drivers, I'm covering this because you're going to see the output, right? Alex is driven by desire to be at the forefront of technology. Do you see that? And to stay ahead of competitors and the aspiration to grow a successful business fuels Alex seeking out efficient and impactful solutions for AI, such as uh, for AI like scale scalability, word salad. Okay, so Alex is driven to, driven by desire to be at the forefront. Have a look at our messaging. You've leapfrogged into the future. Right, so it's aligning to that persona. This is the power of marketing with AI as the wind in your sails, makes it easy. Then it talks about Alex, whoops, but in a good way. Meet Alex, a dynamic founder, just like you, navigating the choppy waters of entrepreneurship. His, right, so storytelling. His journey mirrors the aspirations and hurdles of many emerging entrepreneurs. Fueled by a passion for innovation and a vision for success, he faces two daunting challenges. So it's doing a story to tell them this stuff. Why is it different? We understand the tightrope walk of pioneering. Look, the path to transformation. I love the language there. It's not about learning AI. It's about transforming your business ethos. Okay, so it's very outcome focused and it's speaking very strongly to that market because this is what Alex wants. It aligns perfectly with Alex's and your core emotional drivers. Okay, there's a bit of prompt leakage. This is why we have to go and edit the output. We don't want our instructions from a prompt leaking into our outputs. So you can either rerun the prompt and tweak it. This was a prompt I literally just threw together. I haven't fully tested it, um, but this is where you wanna do some human editing. Okay, so you just, it's about transforming your business ethos um, and you just edit that a little bit, okay? Uh, so on and so on. We know what you're thinking. Can I afford this? Do I have the time? Remember those two objections? Don't have a lot of money and I don't want to invest a lot of time. So these are valid concerns, but let's flip the script. Can you afford not to invest in the future? The real cost is in the opportunities missed by not leveraging AI. Advanced Prop Master is, is designed to be lean on your resources, but rich in value, providing streamlined solutions that fit your busy, ambitious lifestyle. Okay, What you gain, rather than here's what you get, it's speaking to me. It's, it's telling me what I'm going to gain from this, which is what people care about, what's in it for me. By joining Advanced Prompt Mastery and so on. The future is now. Join us and transform your startup's future. Look, this is a significantly better marketing message, folks. So the key to this is if you were deploying those rubbish one-liner prompts versus this, what we've just showed you, one's going to perform better and get better results. And that will lead you when you're consistent with your marketing and all your content creation. And we've got a bunch of cool content creation prompts in that free uh, prompt toolkit. Professionally prompt engineering designed prompts. And this marketing message is going to be perfectly aligned to that market. And if you're consistent in that, you're going to get more clients. Pure and simple. Folks, if you're not using AI in your marketing, you're going to be outcompeted by those who are. Because as you'll see, if you want to go and dive into these two messages, with quality prompting versus one-shot prompting, we call it, and you get an, a significantly better result when you add the context of your target market, you tell it a lot more about your offer, you give it those two pieces and then say, create a line messaging, which is what that prompt I just showed you does, and it will completely transform your marketing game. Look, the, the simple truth is attraction marketing works because of this psychological thing. When people pick up a picture, Let's say I take a photo and there's 20 people and you're in that photo and I send it out to all of those people. You look at your phone, you see the picture. Who's the first person you look at in that picture, folks? Of course, it's us. So we want our messaging to sort of understand that wiring. We're interested in ourselves, what it does for me. Don't care about what it does. I just care about how it can move me forward. And when you get your marketing message aligned to that, Real power happens and you'll see an immediate lift, uh, especially as you're consistent with that. So folks, grab the free prompt guide or the prompt ultimate prompt toolkit. I'm so good at naming things. It's got a bunch of really cool prompts in it, including that target market and persona prompt that will align your marketing 
so much better and will sort of you'll feel like your content's a lot more effortless and it's a really critical first step in heading through. And lastly, folks, if you want to look at advanced prompt mastery, I'll drop a link below. I'm not here to sell you that, but if you are keen to learn prompt engineering, we have a course that will take you through it in absolute detail so that you're able to do what I've just showed you and elevate your game across the board and start get the uh, start gaining that unfair advantage that and, and increase the gap between you and those not using AI. And you'll soon see how fast you can go and why AI is such a disruptive force and everyone's afraid of what it's going to do for technology. Well, you can apply that force and that power to your business to move you forward today. Pretty powerful stuff. Hopefully you've enjoyed that, folks. I'll see you again tomorrow with some more insights into AI. Until then, peace.